All right, guys, just a very quick setup of how you can connect the 360IS Wi-Fi IP camera. It's also 1080p to your iPhone, allowing you to monitor what is going on in your house. So let's start with the basics. So just a very quick overview of this camera. Uh, of course, it's 1080p and support storage of micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes of storage. And that's used, obviously, to record videos and store them on the SD card, just in case. Of course, it can, it can detect motion during the dark and of course during the day as well so for example if you if you want to monitor your baby then you can set up the camera on the opposite side of the bed and then you should just monitor how what is its uh, behavior okay enough of the, with the instructions let's go through and see how we can connect this big boy to the camera because there's some stuff which i would like to show you during this process so first of all you have to connect the camera to the power source and as you can see there's going to be an led flash over there now you need to take your iphone and you need to connect to your Wi-Fi. So let's go through and do this. One small misconception is that you may need to make sure that your Wi-Fi is 2.4G, not 5.0, because it's not supported by the application you're going to be using. So I'm going to switch on to my iPhone instead, because it it's, it supports 2.4G rather than my uh, original Wi-Fi. So let's now let's move on on the application which you have to download. The application is called. What is it? There we go, 360iS. It's available for both Android and iOS. So you just download it from the App Store and as soon as you do it, then make sure to launch it. And this, then in the beginning, you're gonna have to create an account. It's gonna be used as a cloud service on to upload all the videos which you're gonna be uh, recording. They're also gonna be stored on your SD card. If you want to read more about it, then there is a manual on the box provided with you. In my case, I already connected the camera, but I'm going to remove it and start all over again so I can show you how this works. So you're going to plus button and in my case, I'm going to use wireless mode. If it doesn't support it, you're going to go for wire mode instead. So now we're going to follow the instructions. And if you're not connected to the right Wi-Fi, then you can go and change the Wi-Fi if you like. And also make sure that the region is set to the country that you live on. Okay, so now you heard the beep, so we're gonna click on uh, Dig Dong next. Camera ready. Okay, so now our camera is ready, so now we're gonna choose of where we're gonna put the camera. So in my case, I'm gonna pick out the phone actually. So in my case, I'm gonna, pay, I'm gonna put it on my baby room because I would like to take care of my baby. And then I'm gonna click OK. And now is the good part. So I'm gonna set up the camera to the position as long as it can face uh, where the baby sleeps. For the video purposes, I'm gonna just leave it on the place I have it right now. But in your case, make sure to find a comfortable place at, at least to see uh, what is going on. So now the camera is going to turn turn around 360 degrees and capture whatever it sees. Okay, and after that, it's going to produce a very nice pa panorama image. And this, this is going to be your setup. So now on your phone, you're going to see whatever the camera captures. So I'm going to pass through my arm. As you can see, my, my arm has passed through. And as well as if I move it somewhere else. And it's going to detect more. And now the camera will be able to detect any motion detected. And if you like, you can talk, for example. I'm going to try to say something like, Hello. 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 So in that case, you can communicate with your child or whatever through the camera. Very handy, and of course you can record as well. And then you can pause whenever you want. And also capture an image as well. And also enable sound as well. And that's pretty much everything. I hope you found this helpful. Please make sure to go to our YouTube channel, hit our subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to stay connected. Thanks for watching.